Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing my first impressions of the Dyson Airwrap. This is the complete long, so it's got a longer barrel, it's relatively new I think and it's designed for people with longer hair. So I got that a couple of days ago. I've used it once, so when I say this is the first impressions, it's kind of a second impression. I used it because I literally got it two days ago. I was super excited and I just wanted to try it out because I couldn't wait. So I hadn't washed my hair. My hair was due a wash when I tried it. And I just tried out a few curls with a few different barrels. I tried smoothing it, just basically experimenting with it to see what it was like and I thought I won't use it anymore, I won't practice with it, what I'll do is I'll wait and I'll show you guys so that you can see what it's like when you're using it as a complete beginner basically. Before we get into the hair transformation that I will just quickly run you through what actually is included. So this is the Dyson Airwrap Complete Long as I said. It comes in this amazing box which is just so aesthetic like sitting on the side in my room it's just gonna look so beautiful. This is a proper product like this has been designed to show off hasn't it like let's put this on the side and show everyone that we've got it it's amazing in the box you have the dyson air wrap main styling body so this is where the air comes from this is what plugs into the mains and you attach all the different head heads i'm going to call them the styling heads to the top of it so these buttons here and the front, these are the control buttons. So this one here is the on button. So you flick it on, it turns on. You flick it on and you push it upwards and it gives a blast of cold air, which is good for setting the hair. So like this, it changes to cold. This one here is the fan speed. So you can flip that up to the fastest or the lowest, three different settings. And this one is the heat. So you can obviously go cool or you can go medium heat or high heat. So we also get this non-slip mat. So this is good to like put on the surface so you can put your uh, Dyson Airwrap down. To be fair, I keep balancing my battery in the box, but I might use this at some point and it just stops it from like rolling off the edge because when you've paid so much money for this, you don't want it falling on the floor. So the first sort of hair detachment is this, which is the pre-styling dryer. So this is like the same technology as the Dyson dryer, hair dryer, but I've read that it's 20% less powerful than the actual hair dryer. So if you want a hair dryer for purely hair drying purposes, they still recommend to buy the hair dryer because this doesn't perform as well as the hair dryer. But I'm sure this is probably more powerful than the average hair dryer put this on like that and then turn it on and hair dry. That's really good for like just giving your hair a quick blast first. Then you've got curling barrels, got a 40 millimeter and a 30 millimeter, so two different types of curls. And then you have two brushes. So you have a firm one and a soft smoothing brush. So they're basically what I would describe as like a straightener. It's kind of like a straightener in one. It doesn't pin straighten your hair, but it smooths it all out. So it's like having a straightener and getting rid of all the frizz and everything. And then finally, you have round volumizing brush. So you could literally give yourself a full bouncy blow dry with this if you wanted to. Or what I did is just used it from the front bits here, as you'll see. This is really great for people that have fringes as well to like voluminize their fringe up. So that's amazing. So you get all them heads included and there's more heads that you can buy online. So the price of this is £449, which is extremely expensive for a tool. Like, very, very expensive, I know that. There's also different ones that you can get. So you can get ones with less heads in that are obviously less expensive. In my personal opinion, if you're gonna go for it, just go for all the heads. So obviously I'm starting with my hair wet. I think the most ideal time to dry it is when you've just washed it and it's all wet. So you're just like blow drying it from scratch. You can like style it, but it has to be damp to style it because it's a hair dryer. So I bought this bottle 
which just fold water and then you can make your hair damp so you can just take it in sections and dampen it off even if it was bone dry to start with because it's a bit damp still if you start styling it I'm going to use the pre-styling dry hair so on this side here you've got like the up and down lock and unlock switch so if you want to take it off you literally pull that switch down and pull it off and it comes off and then you can just attach it but I'm literally going to take the styler first and quickly just blast my hair for a few seconds <laughs> Give it a little brush, 
it's actually quite tricky to get your head around how to use it but i think once you get it it's really easy so i haven't got it yet but i'm getting there take the piece of hair turn it on put it close to the hair and it wraps like that one works really easy I think the root that is the bit that misses out the most on the drying because it's literally at the root. So when you're focusing on the actual styling, so maybe it's worth going over with like the pre-styler on the root more. on the hottest setting. This is obviously being caught by another bit, but it's not curly enough for how I want it, and it's still wet the root. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the front bits. I don't really have a fringe or anything, but I'm gonna leave them and try and style them in a different way. Let me check how much of my hair. So yeah, I'm gonna take all this front bit here, just sort of like the front bit of my the crown of my head, and try and suction that off. You can tell I'm no hairdresser, but this is real life, isn't it? Hopefully that will stay there. And then this side's already quite a bit drier than the other side, especially the tips. So just spray a few sprays of water through.
this side again because I think now I've got the hang of it more it just seems to be curling loads better that they don't actually need to be that wet otherwise the like device doesn't seem to get hold of them so they just need to be done. So I'm going to give this a go for like the front bit and see what looks good. If it doesn't give a good enough curl then I'll have to do, um, go over with the other one. So let's see. bigger I think they'll drop and also my hair is super smooth but I'm just going to really gently comb through them that is literally it and it looks so shiny like I think it's quite difficult to get blondes to look super shiny and I've done it I do think that this will drop quite quickly. You can see when I first done it and they were really tight curls, but that's also dropped quite considerably since. Even now, like how it's dropped, it just looks like so Hollywood, like glam waves. I'm obsessed. If your hair is long, I would definitely get the longer one because I think the shorter one will just, it just won't work. But if you've got medium length hair, short hair, then you'll be absolutely fine with the standard barrel. So my final verdict on this is it's so worth it you can get similar looks with other things but i don't think that you can get this like at home bouncy blow dry like this i've been trying to achieve it for years never ever cracked it until this little beauty so obviously this is like my first proper time of using it with like my wet hair and everything so 
it's only going to go up from here, it's only going to get better. So if you did like this video and you did find it informative and you love my hair as much as I do, then please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video.